it's like they're gonna be making some off meta plays and as for gear esports they're gonna be sticking pretty close to the meta you know with the occasional cheese hero hanzo of course you gotta have that hanzo we will be traveling to the beautiful map of oasis as you see them lining up their best heroes ever chosen of their lives it all comes down to this oh Hot sauce is gonna be Widow. Nope, never mind. He's not gonna be Widow. And as they lock in their heroes, we have Team. I believe that is making plays with the Diva as the only tank. The May bring it in. The freezes. Jukon, the Widow actually. Bob. Nice one there, Bob. There is Beyond on the Torbjorn. Hot sauce on the Sombra and Funk Shaz. Looks like he's gonna be on the Lucio. And on the opposing side, we're gonna have Azario paired up with the Diva. Ooh, and running out to a triple tank. We have Lava on Reinhardt. Nutmeg and Zimbus with the Lucio. And Moira. Ooh, I am running a third healer. Or support, however you like to call it. A bridge aid. So it is three to three. Tanks to heals, one to one ratio. Oh, looks like you guys switched off the widow and went on to the Reinhardt. Bob on the Doomfist. Hotza switching off onto Moira. Alright, now we see the Doomfist actually punching his way in. He takes out Nutmeg. What a hit. That going is a home run. Another person goes down, and that Skyward will have to go down pretty soon. And we have all oh, they're knocking right out up into the air. Looks like the point will be going into a favor of making plays. Uh, oh, like it's bad off. Oh, never mind. It is. Oh, you got, you got May. You got a Moira. Well, not really Moira, but you got Bob on the Doomfist. Alright, now let's see. They're gonna be holding on to the fight. 10% and counting. Here's the esports. Just gonna have to regroup, pull back, and get try again. Unless they bide for their time, they're gonna be slow and push it in. Oh, and they get blocked off with the main wall. What a play. Making the play right there. My high charge is right in. Charge is back to his team. Look at it. Oh, I'm having a hard time pushing in. Yeah, well, I really do think so. Look, as you can see, he could just fire it off his ult, didn't get no one. But he got saved by the main wall. And oh, out comes Lava! Oh, uh, it's shattered. It's to get anyone. It goes all for nothing. One down goes there, Reinhardt. Here, Esports is actually gonna make some progress right here, finding the kill. Huh? You right there, be making it and killing it. Oh, smack to the face. And they're gonna be holding on to the point just as the ticker gets 55%. Out huh? comes the Maywall again. And there goes the self destruct by Blue and Blue Knights to get nothing. Oh, oh, no. The team is ready there to back her up. Blah managed to take out Annie right before he goes. Oh, Ooh, there goes the Reinhardt. They both charge into each other. They. Nope, Reinhardt, he does not make it out alive. Anyway, you would expect a different play from these, but that character. And looks like team. What's this face? Making plays is gonna have five odds ready to go. Well, compared to Team Gear Esports, is uh, is also gonna have. Nope, never mind. That's four odds to spare. The lava coming really coming up on his ult there with 81%. Now comes the big grab. They can't do anything, but they get frozen. Now comes the noodle dragon. Nope, Bob tries to charge away, but he gets frozen and pinned it and gets taken down. Bob coming in with the Earth Shatter. Earth Shatter! Oh, Chaos looks like. Team. Making plays. 
just gonna be able to hold onto it with all of their ults. Hey, if, if it works, it works. Just throw all your ults. When in doubt, throw all your ults. And the point will go in favor of team making plays. They really made some plays right there. Especially with that, uh, that ending one. Where, you know, just grab, freeze, doomfist ult, every ult. Screw it, right? It's only 10% left on the clock anyways. Now as we travel on to the second part of town, where the Overwatch heroes will destroy. Now, they are one to nothing. And doesn't look like they'll be... Ooh. Ooh. Now look at that. We're gonna see Peel Pucker on the Pharah and Zimbus. Oh, mercy. We're running off our mercy. Didn't look like they had uh, too much damage from the last game since they were running triple tank and triple heals. Not enough damage if you say so myself. Oh, they are both making plays. It's just making the play on the high ground. Diva drops down and look. And as we run with the team burn from May wall. I guess off on point today. He's just getting frozen. He just go back in hiding. May wall really did help. They're chipping away at their tanks. Help. But Bridget makes a hasty retreat and even just attack the Reinhardt. Looks like the Reinhardt like 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 won't be able to make it alive and he goes down to Nchuka on the Reinhardt. We have hot sauces. Oh, oh. And that'll be uh, one hot sauce of an ult. And we also see Lava. This Reinhardt ult. Who will not combo it up with anyone because the other guys just switched off and. It's now the Reaper. Wow. They could have. I, I, I thought they could have ran with the Farmer Sequence. It has no virtual counter. They have no hit scan besides the Diva. But. Hey, that's just me. Oh, looks like they stole their tactic and is just going onto the high ground. Reaching around for. Reaching around. Right, I gets bubbled. Now, out comes the Yush, but it gets cancelled. What? What a man. Got cancelled. Get wrecked. Oh, Lava is gonna pin Juko against the wall. He's gonna charge away. Misses his, his pin and get earth shattered by the Lava right there. Uh, come hot, hot sauces. Cunning cellars, whatever it's called. Peanut butter and jellies. He managed to get no one. They all get into the. the party and there goes the Reinhardt being cooked right off the point. Will he make it? No, he will not. He's gonna be taken out. Yeah, it was a losing battle for him, anyways. And yeah, making plays has just regained. They oh shoot, they did not actually let uh, Gear Esports take the point at all, or even have any way. Looks like they are just getting steamrolled. Here comes the Earth Shatter, down close before, and there goes the Diva Bomb. He's dropped, he gets no one. They managed to pull out all their ults, they were just trying to push him onto one, they managed to get onto the point. Up goes all the distance, and then Winston dies right in, takes him, takes out the Winston. May, as a last minute defense, looks out uh, the freeze, takes out the Bridget, but she gets taken out and solo ulted by Peel Parker right there. Esports, esports actually managing to push it into overtime and cap the point when it was at 99% away. Just goes to show you don't ever get too cocky. We actually see Ankylosaurus with his uh, bomb right there, and he actually on fire. Hot sauce about to come up with his ult. That's about it. Everybody else is not have any their ults. Reinhardt with the D-Mark, he charges right under the wound. Oh, Doomfist charges, but gets managed to get no pins. Sticks the bomb, manages to get Function Chance, and people were picking off. And Joker right there on the Reinhardt. Down goes the Doomfist as well. Atos will have to make a hasty retreat. Who will not be able to make it out alive as many. It's two kills effectively. That is a heavy mace to the face. Now, let's see Will, uh, making plays, managed to get back. 
They have one, literally one percent. All you have to do is knock them off, take it, one percent, done. GG eels. I hope they trace their spike around the time. Sixty-four percent on his ult. Lava is actually having his ult also. Doofus goes down to the ankle stars manages to take out their main dealer out there. He, uh, Gears Esports pushing it into 70, 75% capture percentage. I think that was a fact in there right there by the bridge aid. There's really no one there. Or it could be a preemptive hole. No. Yep. That is four ults. Oh, out comes the peanut bun really. There goes the fat earth chatter. He's got everybody. Except for the mercy, the mercy he's there to keep them alive. Make a place is gonna make the play and get on the point. Look at the bridge off to keep him nice and alive. Not really nice because the Reaper out there in the corner. He might be able to hold real soon. No, he has 23%. They push him on off the point. It is still in overtime. 99 to 99. Down goes the run. Reaper right there, but he will get res. Looks like Reaper's just hanging in there by the red. Trace is going behind, managing to push down to pick up. Yeah, she picks and she finds the shot on the bridge. Then goes the sky wave. Nice the face punch, not mega in the face. But also, managing to take out the other one here. Down goes the Earth Shatter. Oh, Mercy goes on to the point, trying to save it. Was she able to save it? Oh, it's only a puny little bird. Oh, and down she goes. Overtime ticks down. And the entire map goes to making plays. Wins. for the play of the game. Let's see, is it a... Oh, that's when he activated his trap card. Whammy. There you go. That's why you don't force him to activate his trap card. You just... It's like you've activated my trap card. Press his key. You're done. Is that all? Uh, I would have to say... Bob is pretty good. And... You, and there was that time where he was a little bit shaky getting taken down by Winston, but as soon as he would back up, rock steady, yep, making plays would just roll right over in Gears Esports. Right. As we wait, we shall see what the next map will be. I think uh, at this point they could be picking their maps, depending their maps. Oh. Looks like Skywave over there has the macaroni and cheese torbjorn. The macarm. Ooh, Peel Blocker. I think uh, he got some bad luck for his team right there with the Shanghai Dragons. And I think at some point, Gears Esports, they, they managed to push making plays off, but after one or two, three uh, group fights, they, they they couldn't hold out. Uh, and then making plays got smart, took them out quick and decisively, pushed them back. They just There was just nothing they could do about it. I don't think they had, uh, they had much ults to counter that. Or if they did, uh, probably didn't sync it up correctly. The combo. Um, and now we'll be traveling over to Dorado for the next map of Escort. Traveling Dorado. And then on the defending side, we'll have making plays. And once again, for attack, we'll have making uh, gears esports. Let's wait as they uh, sediment their hero picks in. Don't want to make any uh, preemptive calls. We'll see blue once again on the diva. I think he's their one trick diva. One trick diva man right there. Now let's see how, how do we check their out. Uh, blue, blue, blue. Yes. Let's check their career profile. Yep. What did I say? Almost 353 hours on diva. Wow. That is, that is a hardcore diva one trick. People say I'm a hardcore diva one trick. Ha! 
Look at this guy. It's 350 hours. He doesn't play any other hero, but but Diva. At least I play other heroes. And enough about me. They're gonna be spamming the their voice lines, obviously, to annoy the hell out of the casters. Matsos is actually on the Mercy. Yuka placing down the shield in a reversed, you know, it's just the science behind that is a, a cone, you know, just that's how it catches all the damage. Uh, I'm pretty sure Skyway found a, a, a new way to freeze people. Who needs an ult when you can just 360 freeze people? Ankylosaur is actually on the Widow. Pilpaku on the Hanzo. We're about to see some major Hanzo plays. The Noodle Dragon. Ankylosaur is will he be able to find the shots that he needs for his team? Nope. They <sighs> making plays. Backs off immediately off the high ground as they push right up. The two tanks are gonna get obliterated by their Bastion. Lava actually brought down to half health before he could retreat. Bastion repositioning. The Widow, oh, they're actually going to be flanking up and around both tanks. Up the the, the main wall goes up, but will it do anything? No, it will not stop the onslaught of the tanks. Well, this one goes down to Nutmeg. What a surprising turn of events. Hanzo trying to find his shots. Takes Blue out of his back. Now Blue is just trying to maybe get the kill on Nutmeg. Nope, he does not get the kill. Actually, Nutmeg is the J. Jonag right there. Kills Blue out of the blue. Up, easily capturing the first point. Jika going back onto the Reinhardt. I think that's what he plays best. Worked really well. Winston actually diving up top the Diva. Going up there to help. But no, the whole team is actually up there. Nothing they can do about that. They're gonna have to back up way further than they expected. And Ankylosaurus is still on that Widow. Out comes the Noodle Dragon. They managed to take out the Bastion. One of very few players are uh, making plays right here. Blue actually gets d again. Blue, he has the Divas at the Discord Orb. The Divas right behind him, picking them out. He does not notice this Diva. Monkey Jazz is gonna run away from the Diva. The Diva finds the Zen, kills him first. And that is. Oh, Thanks for finding the Zen on the Shuka. Phil Pucker, Sonic, Arrow killing Hot Sauce. And that'll be it for that team fight. In favor of Gears Esports. I think we might be able to see a comeback from them. The dual snipers is just. I think that's working out pretty great for them. With, the, with all the picks, with the damage they are able to output. There goes the bomb. Mess take out the Hanzo. That is one more sniper down. They still have to worry about Ankylosaurus. No one is actually testing Ankylosaurus. As the Winston goes around, pushing them all around. You know, just, just make it that much harder for Ankylosaurus. Still, there is no one contesting Ankylosaurus on Widow. What is going on? Oh, Doofus actually goes up there, takes the Ankylosaurus real quick. I think he's watching it on the street. But it is only Doofus on the car. I don't think he's going to one. And Lava manages to electrocute him to death. Poor Bob. We see a surprising turn of events. You can actually He's take it out early. Punch has taken out early as well. They will have to pull all the way back to spawn. Out comes the Diva bomb. It's self destruct. Does not manage to get in when I think that's, that's a waste of an ult right there. I could have saved this for a better time. But. Gears um, Eagle must be pretty confident if they think they're gonna get that. Oh, Nutmeg is actually stunned, but no one gets him. And also, no one is getting any right there in the sky. She's just healing her team. Nutmeg pushing the card all by himself. And that's another team fight lost. Lost battle. Making plays right there. Gears Esport, uh, Ankylosaurus, the Widowmaker. Interesting. 
helping do damage, contest them. The cut is rounding up around the ramp. Episode is trying to make it onto the point. Back to his two. Out comes the uh, Meteor Strike. It's not nice to find any kills. He almost got the Hanzo, but the Hanzo jumped away. Managed to get the combo kill on their Hanzo. Out comes the Senhal. No one's going to get back to that. The Widowmaker is in a very precarious spot, but no! Nutmeg takes out Bob Blue, manages to take out Lava and Zimbus, but that is not enough to stall the point. It is reaching ever so slowly to it. Juko going onto the cart, doing his 360 shielding. We all know that's how you how you shield. Oh, and they manage to pull it off. They sweep him right off the point. Making plays, managed to sweep him right off the point, holding the point right before. It would lose it all. Just literally five meters away. Ooh, I can just taste the salt in a Gears Esports. Yeah, but they're their professional team. Shouldn't be too worried. They were making it this far. I'm pretty sure they could continue to do it. The Noble Dragon comes out. He managed to find anyone? No, he just owns them right off. With a great strat. Out comes the Earth Shadow. That's a bigger shot. Let's do them down. Ooh, uh, Doofus gets pinned down. They all get swept off. Point. Again. The team kill. All at once. With 2 minutes and 21 seconds to spare for Team Gears Esports. Oh, looks like they'll be trying a different strat. But Hanzo sees it. Doomfist is ready. He's up there. How about to make the play? He's gonna find him, hook him around the corner. Oh, he punches and he misses. He's like trying to make it out to the point, he's actually losing the back. On the way back. Both the uh, opposing team support alts come out. See the Valk, the Valk does outlast. He's an ult. The Simon ult does they make you invincible. Well, not invincible. I think jungle attires can still kill you. Look, down goes the Reinhardt. Looks like more kills are going in favor of the team. Here's these points. They're gonna be pushing it. Oh. Oh, Bob. Touch it for the team. Are we gonna some pro? Nope. Never mind. Bob, you let us down. We're making it on to the point. No one gets the meet immediately and is now good. They go into the point and testing it before it reaches too far. There goes the game lag. Oh, we're gonna be seeing some kills right there. Mercy actually done. Oh, out comes the Reaper roll. And...
Yeah. Right, back. Kessel's be back. Looks like zero to two the time it ran out. They held against them. They did not let them get the third point. Now it's just up to to get it to the very end and a uh, team I think it was making taking place will have to win again. Now as we see the day, the clock ticks down, they lock in their heroes. see lava actually on the Eurypsa. Simbis on the hog. Hmm. A wumble combo uh, uh mashup right there. Hokum and uh Hokum and Pokum. Let's see making clays here. Let's see what they have. They have a Reinhardt. Hot sauce once again on the Moira. Bob ah yes. Bob on the Doomfist. Skywave all again, once again on the May. Hmm, looks like they're really trying to bring May into the meta. And blue, the diva main. Right, on. Um, you guessed it, the diva. Function is still on that uh, Lucio right there. Nope. Ankylosaurus actually going soldier right about now. They are not running a Bastion. That is, uh. There's a question moment right there. Oh, Jigga's holding up the wall. And it, just in case if they come up, uh, Peel Pocket has set a trap, a very nasty trap for them. It's like Doomfist is gonna be going around, but he gets killed. He gets knocked out by Zimbis. Zimbis takes him out. What a... What a play. What a play. Uh, like lava. Though they lose, they, they lose a tank. Yuka goes down to Zimbis. So Zimbis is doing work. I'm gonna get a Roadhog if I see. That's why I say so myself. I think they ran the combo of your hook. You can have that little grab. Oh, and of course, we can't forget about Orisa's endless stream of fire. It's like having a mini bastion on your hand. But except it doesn't do as much damage and it's probably not as fast. It looks like they'll be contesting back back onto the point. Juka with the Discord orb goes in. He tries to hammer. Looks like the Doomfist is gonna be trying to go around. Nope. Uh, he's right there. Staying safe. Killing up Zimbus. Uh, Zimbus gets frozen. He does not go down. Out comes his whole hog. But gets pinned by Juka against the Maywall. Nice play there by Skywave and Juka. Very smart of the Reinhardt actually. Pin him against the Maywall. Looks like Skywave's gonna be pushing up a little bit. Maybe get a pick. Or pick. No, Bob gets the pick on Ankle Sword. Yep, that's a way to punish him. Just punch him right in the face. Punch him right away. Blue goes up, gets damaged a lot. Goes back down. Also, coming out, we have the tire. Man, they got two of them. Main tank and. Uh, Moira right there. Out comes Bob once again with the solo. Oh, he's always going off by himself, looking for those 1v1s, but he's not gonna get it. And he does not punch anyone with his meteor uh, shower. Or crater. Meteor shot, whatever. And Zimbus on the high ground firing off the rockets. Going right onto the point, right into Juka's face. And we push it. Out comes the Earth Shadow. Zimbus takes Zimbus with him. But he has fouled. So that's a big no no to Juka right there. They'll be pushing the car in this. This is actually a, maybe a little bit faster. Well, out comes the opposing to self destruct. It went up a little too high. Blue managed to find Zimbus. And now that's what you call a Diva one trap. I mean, Blue just decided to rub into uh, Zimbus' face, showing the boost boss. 
we're gonna see Skywave coming up on the mail right there. And Lava, right on that. Oh, his rage. But he gets frozen. Oh, he is ulting. And Mayfree's uh, helping him really clear off the point. Here comes uh, Sen's Transcendence. And he managed to get the res on Field Pucker. No one really noticed that. Field Pucker is gonna be in the middle of uh, Bob's Meteor Strike. And he gets pummeled to the ground. Simbis and Nutmeg doing work, taking out two tanks and a Bob on the Deep Fist. Skyway trying to make his getaway freezing. Nope. Reinhardt takes him, takes her out as well. <coughs> Ooh, looks like team making plays is gonna make the play to go off to the right side and reach around. Never go wrong with the old reach around. The entire team is slowly making their way over. No bag actually on fire. Sam is coming up on his ult. Now comes the uh, peanut butter and jelly bite. Hot sauce right there. Here goes the noodle dragon. Will it find any kills? No, it does not find any kills. It is actually something right off the point, which I think is a very uh, smart play right there. Just the way he met the ball. Oh, down goes Jupiter. I think we might actually have a, a win by uh, Gears Esports. The comeback is real. They go in there, take out both the healer and Baby Diva right there. Death Blossom is ready. Now, so they all join up onto the card and party. Nope, he just used his. Kill for his. Nope. That's Ankylosaurus. Actually, gone the Reaper. Now they're just waiting. Both the dive tanks go up on the high ground. You guys can count on any of them. And the rocket gets pinned and it's going against the uh, Ankle Stars actually gets pressed. How come this guy can do something? But it's not going to be all. But none of them go down as they were being killed extensively. Here comes another Hanzo Dragon Strike. The Noodle Dragon. Sony them right off the point. Blue gets the mech. Down goes the let's see. But uh, Skywolf actually goes down as well. Chica finding the kill on Zimbus. Blue kind of a headshot actually on Peel Pucker. And what a clutch plays by making plays. They made the clutch play. Yep. Clutch that at the very end over there having I would say they only stalled it for about a minute or so before they cut the point. So that can get away from more time. <laughs> Extra time. We will be on the high ground for fucker trying to find connect the heads. Oh, they're all just hiding shield on my face. They actually dive down. Out comes the Diva Bomb, but it once again goes up too high. I bet Blue is just sitting there cringing at them. Down goes the Reinhardt, I mean, that's a Reaper. Here goes Coalescence. Yes, that's what it's called, Coalescence, Peanut Butter and Jelly. Will they be able to hold on to the point? No, they'll be pushed off to the point with a minute to spare. My ultimate is my choice. So they don't die, regroup with their team. And try to take it again to reach the final point. They'll be actually taking an alternate route, but the Noodle Dragon finds them. And Killpucker takes out Juta, their main tank. Blue decides to back out the entire team, decides to back out. But they are split. Down goes both their healers. Uh, Bob has nothing to defend for himself. No heals. He decides to retreat with Juta. We are really coming up close now. 30 seconds left on the clock. Will they be able to make it onto the cart? Push it into overtime and hopefully win this match as well. Are they gonna make the play? Will they be able to go? No. Bob is actually gonna be confronting their Reaper. Oh, he goes. Oh, he just not he completely misses it. Blue, Blue finding the double kill on Killpucker and Annie. That's a DPS and healer down. That's a main healer too. Here she goes down. I think that'll help 
them extensively. Uh, Reaper's ult gets cancelled, but he does manage to take with him the box. He does down. I don't think that makes much heals for the team making plays. And Reinhardt will have to hold up his shield, play his sitting duck. Nope, we have May with the cheese. You can never forget about the cheese uh, mail. He just freezes you instantly. Or he just comes out whenever you don't want it to come out. Oop. And they manage to push it off. Here's Esports wins that round. What a clutch play by the Esports. They are here for the comeback. And to wrap it off, we have hot sauce uh, on the Moira. With the peanut butter and jelly. Now let's see. Is it actually damn it? Yep, yep. There you go. W uh, M2. Just just damaging. No heals, you know. Who needs heals when you can just damage them and win the game? Oh, no, well, I, I guess that's what you get for uh, not healing. I'm taking it back. When you don't heal, you don't win. Or as so the saying goes, oh, we have a lever. It is a 5v6. I'm probably just going to be subbing. Let's see who is their new sub. My new player to the game. New to me, old to you. Same old, same old. They are now one to one, making plays with one point for the first map, and gears with one point for the escort map. They're gonna be bringing in someone called Pixie Man. Sure, we'll go with that. Now as we move on to the second map, uh, I do believe it might be a hybrid map. It's Assault. Or Assault. I think uh, Wolf was playing that Hanzo last game. He, he pulled off his ults, but I think... Uh, he wasn't really mainly trying to kill people, just really trying to zone them off. He did get a couple of good kills off, uh, especially when that last minute they they were going up the stairs. Hanzo saw the opportunity, launched out his noodle dragons, and managed to kill, uh, I think it was like two tanks, really disabling uh, making plays team right there, injuring them even more. We did manage to get the double kill, but uh, the Reaper before did take out, and after that Reaper took out their main one, so there's no heals. Uh, very hard to win a final push with, uh, without your main healer. Of course it's Hanamura. Oh boy, we're going to be traveling over to the map of on Hanamura, the most, most favorite map. I think everybody loves this map for some reason unforeseen reason. This one's gonna be an exciting round. Let's see who will take this win. Traveling to Pixie Man actually on the Moira. Fellow support main. Punch has switching it up and going on to Zen. Chica and Blue, obviously, and, and including Skywave with the Diva May and Reinhardt combo. Lob is not gonna be letting go of that uh Doomfist anytime soon. And then we just see Ankosaurus actually switching off to uh, a lot of different DPS as we've seen him uh, play so far. I think at one point he was like Widow. Tracer, as we see here, Soldier, Reaper, 
I think that's about it. Peel pucker. I he was. I think he was Hanzo or something. But now he's Doomfist. Nutmeg. Once again on the heels as a Lucio. Lava. Uh, and comboing up with Zimbus with the Winston and Diva dive comp. And he actually switching up the heels to better suit this map. We have a Moira. This should be a fun shakedown. Let's see. Who's that defending? Yep, we have making plays actually defending. I think Blue's gonna show us Zimbus what's up again. Even though they did lose the last round, Blue's gonna be showing Zimbus what's up. 353 hours versus. Let's see this real quick. Actually, no. I don't think he, he plays Diva that much. Only 32 hours on this account, maybe. They're only 32 hours. They managed to push right through. Now they're just fighting on point. Now goes there, May. Wow. And. Yeah, that's a total walkthrough. Yep. Love Diva, yep. Uh, yep, the die comp worked. Worked pretty well within a. It's as if they only took 30 seconds. As soon as the doors open, boom, they're on the point. And then making plays was like, what? We're supposed to be making the plays, not you. Looks like the team is pretty split. Healers in the back. But the DPS is in the back. A lot of launch right in. Down goes there, Senyata. That is the healer down. Ana has to retreat back. But Juka is right there to support her. The Ana and Ryan combo is as so strong as ever. That's super meta. Because they actually ran. Uh, as if they had a dive comp sitting up on high ground. Watching them walk through the main entrance. And then immediately diving right onto them as soon as uh, they saw them pushing right in. I would say it's probably not the, the best. But hey, it worked out for them. With only losing... Uh, Zen's life. Uh, I don't think in the future. I think Gears they're gonna they're gonna catch on and they're gonna realize what their mistakes were, change it up, and really take it home. Then yeah, uh, here making the plays. They're gonna make. They're gonna be the ones making the plays tonight. Let's see what quirky strategy they're gonna be coming up with. Juka and Blue are actually staying on the high ground. Oh, the May actually walled off his own, his own Reinhardt. Will the Reinhardt survive? Yep, he will survive with the help of Bob. Nope, he goes down. Bob goes down. Juka is hammering it out with the big old monkey. Yep. Oh, wow, and it's sitting done. Doesn't look like Gears Esports could be making a touch for that point anytime soon. Making plays is not going to be the second point. I think uh, what was kind of smart right there was uh, it kind of worked in their favor with a May walled off the team, but uh, Bob was there to help assist on the line hard, so that was all good. If he wasn't dead, I think he would have been dead. Get back to his team. Or even receive force for that. Matter. And that's another stall by the team making plays. I think uh Thank you, my friend. right there as Pixie Man. He's just been popping off, healing his team all nice and well, getting his nano up. I think, uh, we have to watch for his uh, sleeps right there. Sleeps are very key to this, yeah, especially out there in the dive comp. So we have a 1v1 versus the Reaper and the May. No, he wakes out. He puts him down. No, can't say that word. Bob is gonna be making it back with his team. He couldn't find a kill. Oh, they are all trapped in there. They can't do anything about it. Lava's down on the ground. He gets taken out by uh, Juka right there. And down goes the Reaper as well. That was a fast friend Q. Maybe, maybe Simbus thought maybe I can get get one of them as I take uh, as I die. But nope. Waste of all. Yuka resets back onto the high ground. 
I, I don't think Gears Esports is learning their tactics. They are still running in the same way. Oh, Listen, he actually dives up there, takes it out. He was actually down. He did not have his mech that down. That is a huge game of mech though. He just stopped. The guy's right in. That's the kill. The healers, they are now without heals. Zen, pumping in the last minute of heals. Now goes the right part. Here comes the noodle dragon. What does it take out? Nope, no one. Shuka managed to pin the anglers on the wall. Lava rage. Raging right into their sand, takes him out as well. Ooh, takes out uh, Zimbus's Mechalette there. Now goes to Ryan. Not looking too good for Team Gears Esports. Even though they did take out the main tank. Uh, you only have one person on the point last time I checked. So, yeah, quick maps. Who looks like Gears Esports is only uh, the furthest they made it, it's only halfway. Which means if team making plays does the same thing within their given amount of time, they will have no problem. That will be a 2 to 1, but we shall see. Lava actually making it out to the point. Oh, they're gonna be going for the reverse dive. Looks like Pop was trying to chop there for a moment. What a cringe moment. That he was really sad to get sky waves right there. And he actually gets trapped in the freeze. Pop finishes it off with a shotgun to the back of her head. Gets taken out. Gears Esports is gonna be making it onto the point, staying onto the point. Oh, we have Blue and there's Zenyatta making it on there just in time with the transcendence. Reinhardt trying to smack him away. He managed to swat Nutmeg out of the fight. Zim is finding the headshot on Flank Shaz. That's not too good. No. Raiden's take it. Hey. Switching off to the Widow Maker. Bob. Yep. As suspected, goes over there, punches her into the wall. They have. Gears only has one more minute to attack this. He is in this game. Has just crashed. The live content has been stopped. I can't in the middle of a uh, play. Oh, boom, I take out Ani. Chuka. Uh. And the point, there's no one on the point. Hey. Wow. We have making plays, really making the play over there, pushing the ball off at the fi very final end when he thought it was all over. Now we have uh, Jeff Kaplan actually coming in here with uh, the pause. Cease your games, as he says. Sorry, I had to wait till the fight was over to... And we are back. Looks like our host has come back. Observing. Um, are you good or do you want me to? I'm gonna be seeing lava. Their tanks actually. Are they gonna start wising up? Nope. They're gonna be running this exactly the same way. Maybe with the ankles actually switching off the wheel and going on the McCree. Well, what's that gonna do? We can finally pin Bob down. Oh, Bob. Punches, but he does not make it anyway. Out comes the transcendence once again. This one just puts him up There is not a day with that some transcendence. That is causing for quite a while. Oh, he's like pure fucker, just gets the knock out of his ult. He actually gets punched, uppercut it to the face. Will she make it out alive? No, she will not be able to make it out alive. Get punched in the face by Blue. Well, it's like, what? Not having an answer today. I am if I want to know any evil one trick, they do not match that point. And it goes in favor of team. Making plays. Now if making plays can capture the first point and capture a tad bit more, then team gears uh, esports, they will win this uh, round.
it will make it a 2 to 1 win ratio. Oh, as we see here, we're going to be locking in their heels real quick. Pixie Man actually going on the Moira. Trunks has to stay, obviously, obviously staying on that Lucio. Bob remaining. Bob, Blue, Skywave, and Juka. I think that they're, they're a pretty formidable combo right there. Bob with the Doomfist, Skywave. Ever so coming in with uh, the walls, the males. The classic uh May freezes. And blue, he's just playing his uh one trick. He never uh, He's very consistent, uh, if you ask him with the, his diva. And Skywave is also very pretty consistent. And Juka I think uh, at times he's uh playing that wild card, but Justice Reinhardt probably feels a bit more aggressive. And we actually see Ankylosaur, Ankylosaurus actually on a, the tank roll. We've seen him all, practically all night on the DPS roll. Rather on the right, back on the Reinhardt. Nutmeg, back to home turf on uh, Zenyatta. There we actually be running a triple tank with a triple heal. One heal, one, one supporter for each tank. Yeah, uh, I think that's pretty pretty good for them. Oh, yep, they managed to just walk my team. There goes the May Wall. Just using that hell out of them. Sorry, I guess managed to get frozen, but it does not go down. Off is actually booped up into the air. That is a vicious fight. Down goes their line heart. So this blue boot nice goes down as well. Who's on this point? You actually see Pixie Man take his own line. Most likely to regain with this uh, Ankylosaur is finding the pick on this uh, May right there. Staggering them pretty hard. Now they have to wait for their teammate to come back. Now comes the Doomfist. Looks like he's going to be going right behind them. They do not see him. He is above. He is now untouchable. They can't touch him. Now he's just waiting for his tanks to make some space. Come in. He's going to... And then as soon as they do, he's going to be start uh, boxing them like uh, Rocky Balboa. Out comes Lava's Earth Shatter. Does it manage to get anyone? Yes, it does manage to get three of them. And goes their Lucio. Never mind, that's not good. Lucio and their Mario. Both their healers are down. He's not looking too good for team uh, in place. They've not been able to touch the point and already a minute and a half or so has gone by. Looks like their triple heals and triple tank is doing just fine. I guess that means uh, since their tanks, well, they're practically the DPS, but there is no DPS. Oh, Luke gets trapped away. He's not too happy about that. That's all around. He cannot defense make it to Zarya. Down goes uh, Blue right there. Wow, oh, managed to take out Zinkus on the first See how this will go for a team in place. Sinyata gets frozen by their mayhem. Gets blue to the edge shot with the ice cream to the base. Down goes to Zarya, getting punched into a wall. And objective A goes to team making plays. They'll be rushing real quick onto a flanking route. Oh, does all yep, all their team managed to go around. They'll be going in onto the point. There's pretty uh, big space between them. Team Gears Esports does, uh, does not anticipate this. And boom goes the dynamite. Does not match the game. Looks like they got on the point pretty quick and captured it a fair amount for uh, Team Gears Esports. Uh, actually noticed. They were not expecting that. But in the end. Gears managed to push them off, kill them all before they uh, get any more. Now they're gonna try to go back onto the high ground because they're gonna get. Alright, maybe that route fails for them. They probably won't try it again. And. Looks like they're thinking. Yep. They will not be going the offside second route again. They're actually trying to go into the. Front door actually. 
you just get up and cheat you below. Another ease pick. Out comes the Earth Shadow. Reinhardt turns around. Juka managed to block that. Save his team. Ani will manage to get picked. Oh, no. They get knocked out of the May Bubble. But Reinhardt is still in the May Bubble. May, uh, freeze zone. That is just unfortunate for team making players. Yeah, I think they even had that perfectly timed too. It's just that the diva somehow, you know, it, in, the, in the frenzy of it all, knocked two of their players out, thus letting them survive. I think that if they weren't knocked out, I think uh, making plays might as well just have might might have the point by now. But we shall see. They almost have to capture to like what is that like 95%? Hope okay, they make it onto the point once again. Out comes the grab. Put, comes up with beats by Drake to save his entire team. Rob comes in with his fist, but no. Three of them are snack. Uh, Reinhardt and May take a loss. They take a hit. And down goes their easy. My rise well. I don't think that is enough for Blue to survive. No. And now they're just playing with the D.Va. Oh, that is just cruel. D.Va managed to... Nope, she does not run away. She gets hooked back. Now they're just making a human wall. Nope, nope. She, she, she managed to get back her mech. Ooh, what? Nope. They take back the mech away. And then they kill her, staggering her. It's a really hard stagger. Wow. Now, they have to wait quite a long time. Wait for their diva to come back, their um, friend diva. Oh, boy, diva. Alright, now they're gonna go in with Blue's ult. Skywave actually about to come up on ult. Juka with the Earth Shatter actually about to pop off. Bob also actually about to come up on ult. We're seeing a potential for ult right there. Tanks and DPS as well. Let's see we make it onto the point. Juka, ult out comes. The self destruct man does not hit where he wants. Does not find the kills. There goes the wall of China. And. Lava is just not, he doesn't care. Goes around the wall actually and uh, takes out Skywave. I don't think it's uh, looking too good for team making plays right here. They they barely got any capture percentage. I think they, they have to change up their route of attack. Then again, uh, if they do go down this mid, that forces them to come off from the high ground. Losing their advantage, forcing it on an evil and even playing ground. Well, now it's not so even. Their the Reinhardt is, is dead, so either way, it's not really even quite. But they managed to get the May Freeze, then they managed to take out four of their people with Simbis Rezzing Nutmeg. What is that gonna do? Nutmeg goes down anyways. Uh, is also dead, but he has Earth Shatter. And he's gonna split the graph. Are they gonna come out with the graph? The two uh, supports are trying to stall it. They do not stall it. My heart actually charges the Ana. Ana is actually being saved by the Zen. The two heroes are too focused on themselves. Nice to go back on point. We fill their team's health a little bit. How come the Beauty Strike? Boom! Goes uh, this person. Ana Mura Force. And Lava finding the pin on the D.Va. The D.Va bomb goes off. Manages to find Ankylosaurus. And that is an unfortunate turn of events. They almost managed to get one tick, but they do not get on the point. I'm telling you, they only have 30 seconds to get on this point. Were they able to group up fast enough? Like 20 seconds and counting. Oh, 15 seconds, actually. They have to get on this point now and fast if they want to contest it into overtime and possibly capture this. Oh, out comes the May wall. That's gonna be an annoying for them. Actually, it's the monster to the point. Oh, out comes the, uh, the clutch. May freeze. Has to uh, invade their death a little bit. But it, they, they were uh, earth shattered, so they did not manage to find the kills that they need to get on the, the point. That's a team wipe. Uh, Gears Esports. Gears Esports will take home another win. That is two to one in favor of team. 
Gear Esports. Let me see here, Lava. Play of the game. What a lovely play of the game this is. Let's see what this one is. Nope, this was at the very end right there. With the team wipe. With the double kill on Crazy Man. He just continues to charge. Takes out Blue. Put Blue Beast's uh, mecha there. Going to blow up. And Skywave. With the only card. 29 eliminations and 10 blizzard kills. To see justice done but is its own reward. The end. Gears of Esports. Uh, held up against their own. Alright, and we are back. Looks like uh, the next map it will be Assault. And Escort. Mix of both. And the one and only very famous map that I, I'm pretty sure everybody likes to play on. E even the teams from... Uh, players like like these guys right here we all love it name is king's row hello yeah uh Yeah, we'll edit that out. And they're gonna be... Uh, gonna be picking their heroes. Uh, we'll have Lava once again. Still on that Reinhardt. Zimbus. Oh, he's finally switched it up. He's like, I've had enough of this. I've had enough of showing... Uh, being shown up by Blue. He's be... Uh, the one and only um, heavyweight champion of this entire game, Roadhog. Obviously, we'll have Addy and Nutmeg. Nutmeg still on that uh, Pro Zen right there. And Ankylosaurus is choosing to stick with Zarya. They're we're gonna be still running that. Uh, is that a triple tank? Yes, that is a triple tank with only two healers. Uh, Nutmeg, uh, I would say personally, if, uh, if I was Loom, I've run two strong healers. Oh, there goes the Maywall. S Sky wave, Maywall's unlocked. Down goes the Zimbus. I, I, don't, I don't think this is Zimbus's night. He's just getting toyed around with Lava going down pretty quick. Oh, they actually all go down pretty quick. It's an immediate capture. Hanzo. Managed to find his face in front of a, a big old fist by Bob. And they capture it. Oh, well, that's it. They capture it. Almost As if there was just no resistance. Same descent, not like we're really punished. Oh no, no, no. That's a. Uh, that's them just killing people. With Funchess, Funchess managed to find a kill on Lava. And... Yeah, we just see... Pixie Man and Juka riding the cart. Nothing much to see there. And as... Blue joins them... On the chill zone. Pushing them all the way back to the... Back in point. Doomfist waiting for his perfect time to pounce. He's gonna be able to find. Oh, he sees the mercy. He goes in for the kill. The uppercuts. Does not find the kill immediately. Now being contested by the Zarya. Out comes the Zarya. Oh, and you know what? Just lock all dolls, you know? Gears Esports is actually gonna hold it off. They push uh making plays there back, halting their push. 
I, I still don't think that triple tank is like, doing too well for them. It is just feeding up into their all. We have really a, uh, a blue with her all. Uh, Diva bomb. Self destruct. Juka with the uh, Earth Shatter. About to see Bob with the, the Meteor Strikes. Now comes the uh, Self destruct. Ooh, again, when Boom it finds two people, Ankle Source and Nutmeg go down to Blue. Bob, um, right before that, taking out Lava. Uh, and and then just uh, see if they can contest some more. Try to res Lava, but nope. Blue Tit has to take him out. Zimbus. Actually coming out with the whole hog, nice to kill Skyway first. Taking out one little annoyance already. No, oh, Bob actually going in with his Doomfist fist. Oh, we find the punch, yep, he punches. Oh, Zarya right there. And there's a finish off. Oh, wow. Juka. The Earth Shatter. Earth Shatter kills. Zarya. Now Zimbus is just getting played around with. Oh, they smack his fat dead body across. Right Bob, uh, as we've seen tonight, he's been wor working exceptionally well on that uh, Doomfist. It's it's not so much as his ult. Yeah, there was some good ult here and there getting the key uh, play, but it looks like he knows his way around the fist. He, he uppercuts away, he knows how to count. It's almost as if. He's playing this like Reaper style. He he knows exactly what he needs to do. I think Doomfist is a very close resemblance to how you would play Reaper, but just the mechanics are different. He does not get killed by the Noodle Dragon. That would have been a free up the vault. Oh, Juka actually finding the pin on their Roadhog, but does not pin him. Gets hooked and gets wrecked. You see Ani over there at the Battle Mercy, finding some headshots, doing some damage. Looks like here's this one has done it again. Watch. There's uh three. Nope. Yep, they still have the three tanks. Yep. And I, I still don't think they're gonna be able to hold it off anymore because we've seen before they did clutch it, but uh, making plays over there. They they just push on right through. They, they do nice to have their ult every time. We do see Juko with the Earth Shadow Bob on the Media Strike. Pixie Man's about to come really quick. Uh, with the Kondas, Kondas Ellens. Now comes the Earth Shadow. Isn't that the final one? Yep, it finds a uh, Roadhog right there. And also, I also find Ani on it. Now comes the Media Strike. Who is it yet? I think he just gets out of a different position, but it was nice to take a few people with him before he dies. He might still get pushed off the cart. And round one, we'll have to go to making plays. With three points to go. Sides. We're gonna be having uh, gears actually attacking right now and making plays. I think for that round, uh, gears they, they they weren't playing to their best. Oh, they have some technical difficulties. Looks like Jeff Kaplan is uh is not with you today. <laughs> This is gonna be one exciting round. Oh, I I'm gonna even hold my mic like one of them uh, casters do. No, they don't hold that mic. They have like headset mics. I just don't know how they get it so well. Probably. Oh, but we're only we're only spectating though. So, what's your processor? Now entering. Yeah, should be fine. Eight quarters. Yeah, that's why I said you should just do it in 20... 720. Are you ready, or...? And... We are... back online! Now, let's see here. Let's see. We'll obviously have... 
blue. No surprises on the Diva. Skywave, obviously, still. I don't think any of these uh, heroes really come as a surprise anymore. Oh, no, never mind. We have Chuka actually switching off into something not Reinhardt. He's playing Orisa. Bob, at, not on the Doomfist. Wow, that's a. I think they really want to win this, you know? Cheese it up. And Pixie Man, Funchaz, with the Mercy and Moira combo. The yin and yang of each other. And Zimbus and Annie will copy that with three supports matching up with two tanks. And looks like they opted for at least one DPS. I mean, they are gonna go on attack, so. Smart choice. Smart choice of them. So basically, if Gears Esports manages to push it all the way to the end and win this map, it'll be a GG ease. And making plays will go home with the loss. Looks like they'll be running the farmers combo actually. Do walk around the Pharah, as we've said before. The Doom, uh, the Bastion right there sitting nice and tight. Trying to mow them down. Oh! They get walled off, but they do nice to go around it. The healers have to back out or they will die. Oh no, Annie gets taken out. Zen. Uh, no, that's Lucio makes it out by the skin of his uh, chinny chin chin. Blue oh, no, going up there. Contest of Mercy. Oh, Mercy cannot fly back to him. He is caught out all alone. No, oh, but the Lucio saves her. What a clutch. They were. Not expecting that they could have uh, gotten the mercy, but no, what a clever play by their Lucio. We should get some replays on that. Oh, the Reinhardt tries to make a charge, but he denied the Lucio. We'll see Bob over here actually popping off on the Bastion. What do you expect from a Bastion player? Oh, he, he kills us already, and he kills himself. And obviously, Pixie Man coming in with the res. No worries. You killed yourself, but nah, no worries. I'll res you. And they go back to the original setting up point. Yep, just just waiting for the slaughter to come on again. Time to raise my now Gears Esports. Looks like Lava's having a hard time trying to get. Out comes the rocket barrage. Now take out the bastion. Now's their time to go in. They do go in. Uh, Bob over here does not manage to find the pin, he does not find the pin, he, he, they do get frozen with the diva bomb in his face and boom, that's a triple kill by blue. You, you can't expect it, yeah, it's a, uh, what do you expect, right? It's blue, he has 353 hours on that sit one hero alone, he really does not play anything else but diva, so I guess the triple kill would be, well, in the grand scheme of things. To normal people, it's like, whoa, triple kill on a high, such a high level. What? Nope. It, it's just that he has 300 hours on it, on this single hero alone. Not so surprising. Oh, we have the grab back there. They do manage to pick off Pixie Man. Down goes Pixie Man. There's no one to res. Blue is now out all alone. His baby diva. Does nice. Does anyone contest him? Nope. Blue can manage to get back in his mech lava. So quickly misses the blue as the diva, but eventually finds her, puts a smack a hammer to uh, the back of her head, smack her head to the ground. Down goes uh, Zimbus, unfortunately, but they do manage to take the point at the very last minute. Quite literally, it's uh, they have one minute left. Oh, looks like Bob's gonna go on and try to contest it. Will they want to contest? No, I think the other side of is gonna get uh, healed up nice and well. He does not manage to go down. Lava over there. Actually, it's a great turn of events. Making plays. It's not going to be let the Monza win in top soon. This might actually go into a fifth round. A cursed fifth round. But hey, these people are pros. They've been playing this uh, competitively for quite a while. What do you expect? They're putting up a quite a good fight. Out comes the Junkrat Tire. You see Gears Esports actually making it onto the point. Kill Pucker at right? 9 3 kills. Here goes uh, Diva's bomb. Does not find anyone. Blue is trying to really make his plays over there. Will he be able to? Nope. Making plays like, nope, you're. He did not live up to his team's name. Last 
and it here's esports and then it's the cap the point they're gonna be coming up on uh, quite a few ults actually so i've seen this is all and nutmeg oh, to add to the roster along with Annie's Reinhardt managed to go down with his ult, out comes the freeze, Nano, Juka, and down goes their mercy, they're pushing really hard for this, they do not want them, they want that fist, they, they really do want that fist, uh, well, five ults, and I think Pillbuckle will get his ult fairly quickly, as he is a drunk rat, he'll just launch some bombs in, get ult, get wrecked, GG's. He's... We have a load of ults to work with. Juko actually also has this like, Shatter Bob with the. Uh, he's actually back on that Doom Fist as just, you know, just ever so naturally. Uh, out comes uh, the grab, but they get walled off. He's already gets no support from her team. And she unfortunately dies, but it's in this, like, we're not having any of that bad days. I'm gonna res you up. There goes the media strike. Who will he find? Oh, he has to find Junkrat. Wow, he really does hate that Junkrat. I mean, we all hate the Junkrat. Right? Damn, that's just on a whole different level. I think that was a. Uh, I think that can be considered racism right there. Ooh, they're literally down to their last minute. I'm gonna see my game freeze up for some unknown reason. Overwatch has crashed. Maybe there's a new graphics update. Achieve victory at all costs. Making place. They're gonna be. And making plays has just one. That means we'll be going into a fifth round, boys. Fifth round, boys, and the map is already decided. Now, if only I can get Overwatch back up. We're gonna be back, back from the, all the technical no, difficulties that have been here uh, happening today. Maybe there was a driver's update that we missed, but yeah, we're gonna be launching into a fifth round of control point map. Um, Li Jang Tower looks like the first one is gonna be Garden. Y'all, y'all remember this one? With all the the digital fishies. Let's see how many people will get booped into the fishies or the lake. Let's get a a fishies kill counter. Now we're gonna see team both teams lining up their heroes. You're gonna see nutmeg. But we cannot switching it up being a Lucio right now. And ooh, pill pucker playing a tank. The sky wave is uh, kind of conflicted right there. Who's he gonna play? The May. The the uh, the only Chinese person in this roster, or they play something else. 
blue. There's no surprise there. He's gonna be on that diva. Yep, Skyward back on the main and Juka, rounding it off. Uh, that not so exciting hero switches. We have him on Ryan. We're gonna see uh, Gears Esports actually running a quad tank with only two healers. I am still questioning if that is enough healed. But hey, at least it means uh, making plays will have way more ults than they really should have in a single game. Juka actually already having his ult, basically. Bob is about to die. Oh, he goes down. Ru and Skywave actually racking up their ult percentages. Juka already has his ult. Pixie Man also has his ult. Luka pops it off. Real quick. So some peanut butter and jelly in their faces. Looks like Lucio's gonna have to go back to his team. Oh, Doomfist finds Lucio. Oh, that is a, this is a bit racist right there. He finds the punch and kills. Uh, nutmeg. Ooh, he actually takes off a uh, pop there. Let's see. Is making plays gonna make the play to win this game? Ooh, we're gonna see Sneaky Doomfist. Actually going up behind them. He is 64% up his ult. And the whole team actually has a collective of uh, four ults. We have Blue Zoro, Diva Bomb, uh, the May Freeze. There goes both ults at the same time. The May Freeze and the Diva Bomb. It does not match the game. The Leap Fox. New player for Team Gears Esports. That was their new sub. They're going to be slowly making their way onto the point. Aquasaurus and Lava finding the kills on Skyway. <laughs> Slowly sweeping them off this point. Yeah, that'll do it. I think uh, these both these teams are they're pretty formidable for each other. It's just whoever can play to their strengths the best and utilize it. I, I think that's what's oh and obviously teamwork. That's uh that's what's ultimately gonna win them the game. So if they play to Blue's strength, more really work together as a team, I think uh, Blue can easily carry them to the win. Blue has been making a lot of progress uh, as of this game. He's done pretty consistent, getting uh, kills, the field bombs where it's needed. But Bomb managed to find the triple kill. And finally fist uh, the fat man in the belly. And there goes all their alts. But don't worry, I, I'm pretty sure they will have it back within a couple seconds. Since they are running a quad tank. The thing is, with quad tank, you have so much survivability. You can just really walk in. No one's afraid because... Ooh, and Blue finding the double kill. So anyways, as I was saying, the thing with quad tank is, you can really just push in since none of any of you are really DPS, have to wait on coordination or anything, just walk in together as a group and you wreck. But the bad thing is, you will almost always guarantee the enemy team, or in this case, making plays, their alts every time. Because there's just so much help to feed off from. Lua has to go down. Uh, Juka gets frozen. Comes, uh, nutmegs beat down. He gets beaten down literally by Bob. Ooh! The Winston actually goes into the crossfire of Juka right there. Somebody's gotta flip that. Just in case, I'll clip it. replay is long enough but yeah we're gonna be bringing to you uh, that clip to you Five, four, three two and one it's like I don't think either teams have uh, switched up their comps that much 
Ankylosaur is actually going on the Reaper right there. Oh, looks like they're gonna be going up the stairs, but team making place has got there first and gotten a pretty good grip hold on them. Uh, winding up his fist and boom, fine stuff. Fist uh, punch on their Reaper. But he does get trapped and taken out by their jump rat lava for that matter. Mag actually finds uh, the tire on Juka's face. But no, that will not be enough to uh, keep making plays off of the, the point. Looks like they're gonna be pushing up, uh, trying to keep them off the point. But they're getting smart. They have their Rhine, they group up with their Rhine. The Rhine is back. Let's see what making plays will do next. The Leaf, uh, uh, the Bob actually punch again, having his ult already. Blue and Skywave and Bob and Juka all having their ults way earlier than. Uh, Gears right there. Wasted all their ults, Bloom, nope, Bob actually finding two of the kills, and yep, it, it goes in favor of making plays. They're, I think making plays is, they're just winning by sheer ult, ult economy, and I think they just work really good together as a team. The coordination with the May is what's really helping them too. Oh, Doomfist is getting trapped, will he die? Nope, yep, he dies. Ankylosaurus finds, uh, traces the dots through his face. He goes down. They are still... Nope, they are not going Triple tank anyway. Quad tank. They come back to the normal comps. But I think, uh, it's a little bit too far in the game for that. Team making plays already has 80% on, uh, capture point. That is, I don't think, I don't see enough right on the point to warn them any chance of actually getting on this point anytime soon. Oh no, never mind. They actually catch it. They're not going to be able to hold it. My bad. Now show them. Yep. The point does go in favor of Team Gears Esports. I think uh, making plays over there was getting a little too cocky. They are going soft. Bob fisted right into a trap. Oh, out comes Tracer's Bob like they let you manage to, uh, to miss the stick. But to clean it up, and the blue they are on the self-destruct. Tends to zone them off, take out a player or two. Here comes the Mayfreeze. Oh, managed to find uh, Elite Fox. Elite Fox is in a whole world of pain. And uh, from team making plays, he just, I think he just got into this game, and he's like, "What is going on?" He does. He has no idea what's going on. Elite Fox is trying to make it back to his team. No, nope, he gets knocked around and punched and hammered in all sorts of ways that you do not want to know. Sticks the bomb onto uh, the Bob, but people do not clear around him and manage to take out Funk Shaz as well. That is just not enough for them to cook it into overtime anymore. And making plays is gonna take the win home. Wow, what a uh, surprising turn of events. Uh, if I'm correct, who did one? Who won the first map? I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was making plays. Yep. Uh, they hurt the other two games. They seem kind of tricky uh, and unstable right there, but. The final uh, thing, but I, I, I guess they pulled out their hacks and really uh, won it home. With lava on the Junkrat getting all the votes. And I think that's all the time we have today for this uh, very exciting matchup. It did go into five rounds. Uh, great game uh, by Gears Esports, but unfortunately... They uh, lost two making plays. They were not able to make the plays that the uh, enemy was making. And so they lost. And I guess that's why they call this team 
making plays. And that is No Hype Caster and the other No Hype Caster signing off. <laughs>